Hello everybody, I talk too much here and this is a better version of how to make iOS 6 look and function as iOS 7. So in the first version that I made of this video, um, I only, I mixed up a lot of themes but in that same day there was an update to one of the themes that made it completely different from other ones. And now it's simpler and now that I looked up for more tweaks and more stuff and by not um, doing any performance hacked things but you can download which ones you want anyway so <clears throat> let's start first with the theme the theme is iOS 7 theme from mod my eye for the mod my eye repo so that one has had a lot of updates. It's way better. It it has the, the look at the status bar since I have my iPod Touch charging right now. See it has a white background instead of those lines. There are lots of now the theme is more um selectional. Select you can select what you want. So that's the theme. It even has the drop down notification like that little arrow. So yeah, that's the theme. Now you can download the calculator theme, which is iOS 7 calculator. You can see even if you rotate it and stuff. So now with there's another theme for NC settings that is called well iOS 7 control toggles. Yes, control toggles. It's a winter board theme and you need to be you need to have NC settings obviously, so this is the actual theme itself. You can toggle the brightness and whatnot. It's, it, it gives you that iOS 7 look and feel. So talking about iOS 7 look and feel, um, there's all of the repos, by the way, all of the repos and the names of the TK, I'll leave them down below in the description as well. This one is Blurried MC Background. I'll leave the repo for that down below it's in the R Patrick repo um sorry for all the background noise it's raining a lot right now so oh god it's gonna be annoying in the whole video so that's blurry to empty background see it even has that fade in and out effects so there's another thing let's look at my lock screen Uh, let me take it out of charging. So, this is the actual lock screen. See, the font. If you want to know what the font is. Oh, by the way, now that we're in the lock screen. If you want that effect, that when you slide, and since iOS 7 you can slide anywhere in the lock screen. If you want that effect, download move to unlock. It's the closest thing that I've found to have that effect. And I did some tweaks in the settings as well to have this fade in when you slide to the left. To the right or from left to right, yes. So that is move to unlock. And the next tweak is by the font and iOS 7 font. So the font that you're looking throughout the whole operating system is the iOS 7 font that is, well, in iOS 7. So you can download that font too. The good thing about all of these tweaks and themes that I'm mentioning right now, all of them are free. So now that I've told you the drop down the transparency drop down, whatever. The theme, the font, the lock screen. 
Now I'm going to tell you the multitasking. So this is card switcher. It's the closest car it's the closest multitasking that I found that is in iOS 7 on iOS 6. So this is card switcher, you can download it on the on Cydia. But this one's paid, so I'll leave the insanely I repo down below so you can get it from there for free. So it's the same as the iOS 7. Slide up to kill the app. Slide up to kill the app. It's easy as that. Double tap again. No, app's running. So, this is, I think, all of the tweaks. Let me show you them in Cydia. I loaded up Cydia in the background already. Don't be slow now. I'll just speed up the video right here. Maybe. Or maybe just cut this part. Never mind. So, let me show you them in here. Oh, one more thing. You know, like the background in iOS 7 moves with the way that you move your device? Well, the other tweak that I said kind of is bad with performance. So this one, I got it from the R. Patrick repo, and this one is D-Band. See, as you can see, I move my device, and the wallpaper moves with it. So that's D-Band. That's the really last tweak. So let's get back to Cydia. Okay, so you need Vita font, you need card switcher. By the way, when you download iOS 7 font, it downloads Vita font with it. Vita font is free, by the way. Card switcher, as you can see, I got it from the Family I repo since card switcher is paid. So there's Depend, that is in the R. Petrick repo. All of the repos, I'll leave them down below in the description as well as their tweaks. Fast blur notification center. On notification background. Um, this one is from our Patrick Repo 2, a more efficient version of Blurry to NC Background. As you can see here, it's beautiful, nice, perfect, flawless. So, iOS 7 calculator theme if you want the theme for the calculator. The theme for NC settings, iOS 7 control toggle, iOS 7 font, I was 7 theme, so this like the whole main UI theme, move to unlock to be able to unlock on the lock screen, like in iOS 7, the closest way to do it, on iOS 6 at least. Oh, one more thing, if you want the lock screen, when you download the iOS 7 lock screen, to make it look better, when you have notifications, download no lock notifications DG. That will make it look just a bit better and more iOS 7. And yeah, that's all of the tweaks and the things that you're going to need to make what I have right here. Theme, deep end multitasking, the font, which by the way is beautiful. Okay, it's running a lot, I have to stop the video. So, the lock screen, deep end, font, theme, calculator theme, and notification center. So, like, comment, and subscribe. I will try to make the videos more organized next time, and that take less time
but hopefully this helped you better than the other video. Subscribe, comment, like, and decide to talk too much, signing out.